Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dragon.com and in this video, we'll show you how to sync the DND between a Galaxy smartwatch with any Android phone. So as you might be aware, Samsung only allows you to sync the Do Not Disturb with a Samsung phone. You cannot sync DND with a non-Samsung phone. But I found a workaround using which you would easily get the job done. So let me first show you what I am talking about. So on my phone, as you could see, it's the fourth icon of DND. And on my watch, it's the first icon in the second row. So now if I tap on, and before that I'm using a Galaxy Watch 4 and the phone is a Pixel 6a running the latest Android 14 build. So let me now show you what I mean. If I now tap on the DND icon on my watch, the DND on my phone will also be enabled. Likewise, if I turn off the DND on my phone, the DND on my watch would also get turned off. Likewise, if I enable the DND from my phone, the DND on my watch will also be enabled. And if I turn off the DND from my watch, the DND from my phone should also get disabled as you could see now. So in this video, I will show you how to get this job done. So it should be applicable, I guess, across all the Galaxy Watch 4, 5, 6 and any non Samsung phone as well. So on that note, let's get started. So guys, your first course of action is to download the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive and as you could see, these are the files of the platform tools folder. Once that is done, your next course of action is to install the DND Sync app onto your phone. This is an open source app and you could verify the source code from GitHub as well. So regarding this, there are two versions. One is the DND Sync mobile app and one is the VR app. The VR app I will be installing later on. As of now, just make sure you are installing the VR, the mobile app. So I have got the app onto my phone. So let me now install the app. So this is the app icon. Open it and tap on install. And with this, the app will now be installed onto our phone. The app has now been installed. So tap on open and then as you could see in the DND permission, its access is not given. So tap on it and then you have to select the DND sync under not allowed. And as you could see currently, it's all grayed out. So this is only beginning with Android 13. Not an issue. Just tap on allow access and you will get a restricted settings pop up. So tap on OK and now go to the settings menu on your phone. Then go to apps and select the DND sync app. And you should now see an overflow icon, tap on that and select allow restricted settings. So tap on it and then verify using the fingerprint or pin. And with this, we have enabled that feature. So again, go back and this time you'll be able to enable the toggle. So enable it and then tap on allow. Now go back to the app. And once again, just tap on DND permission. And this time, as you could see, it has now got the permission. So with this, we could now check mark this requirement. Moving on, you will now have to enable ADB debugging on your Galaxy Watch. So let's now carry out that task as well. So for that, you have to go to settings menu on your watch. From there, you have to go to about watch. Then you have to go to storage info, software info, and tap on software version around five, six times. You will get a prompt that developer mode turned on. So go back and again go back and you should now see developer option at the end of settings menu. So tap on it and now enable the toggle next to ADB debugging. You will get a prompt on your watch. Hit the blue check mark. After that, enable the toggle next to debug over Wi-Fi and wait for a few seconds and then you will get your Wi-Fi IP address as well. So let's wait. And as you could see in my case, I have got the IP address is 192.168.1.57. The 5555 is the port number. You could simply ignore the port number. We only need the IP address to establish a connection between our watch and our PC. So with this, we have got the IP address as well and we have enabled debugging. So let's now connect our watch to our PC. For that, go to platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window. Now you have to type in ADB connect IP and make sure to replace the IP keyword with the IP address of your watch. So 
so you will now get a, a prompt on your watch and the options are among ok or always allow from this computer so if this is your own pc you could tap on always allow from this computer on the other hand if you are using a shared pc then tap on ok in my case i am using my own pc so i am using always allow from this computer likewise you will get a fail to authenticate error message on the cmd window it's just a false error message and nothing to worry about in the back end the connection has been established successfully let me show you once again if i type in adb connect and this ip address you could see that my watch has been already connected to this ip address so the connection has been established successfully likewise you could type in adb devices and hit enter and as you could see this is my watch ip address it's the same ip address so with this we have established a connection between our watch and our pc so moving on our next course of action is to install the dnd sync app onto our watch so download the apk file this time around the name of the app is the wear make sure to check out the wear keyword so it's the wear and not the mobile version in the mobile version you will get the mobile keyword and this is the wear version so download the wear apk from here and then place the apk inside the platform just folder on your pc so as you could see this is the apk file the end is saying underscore wear apk file so we will now install this apk file onto our pc so let's get this job done as well for that you just have to copy paste this entire command and make sure to replace the ip keyword with your watch ip address which in my case was 192.168.1.57 so make sure to replace the ip keyword as far as the file name is concerned i have given the same name in the command which correspond to this apk file name you are free to rename it to anything you want but make sure to then rename the command as well so let's keep the file name same dnd sync underscore wear and you just have to change the ip keyword with the your watch ip address so in my case this is the corresponding command as you could see so simply you could type in this command and paste it in the cmd window so let's do that as well and i'll show you then that the app will be installed onto my watch so let's paste this command and hit enter and it will take only a few seconds to install the app so guys as you could see we have got the success message and with this the app has been installed onto our watch now before launching it or if you want to launch it you may launch it but if you open it you may see that under the dnd permission the access is not given so we will now have to give access to this watch for the dnd permission for that all you have to do is simply copy the entire command from my guide and paste it in the cmd window so paste the command here and hit enter and it will take a few seconds and with this your task stands complete so as you could see now just tap on dnd permission once and it has now got the access so as of now both your watch and the phone should have access under the dnd permission app in the dnd sync app under dnd permission both your watch and the phone should now have access to the dnd permission so with that said let's now verify the same connection so as of now you could see that my watch is connected to my phone so now let me tap on the dnd icon just to repeat on my phone it's the fourth icon and on my watch it's the first icon in the second row so let me tap on the dnd icon on my phone and as you could see it's not enabled on my watch and if i turn off from, from my watch just a minute if i turn off from my watch it will be turned off from my phone likewise i could in enable dnd from my watch and it will be turned on my phone and i could turn off from my phone and it will be turned off from my watch moreover as you could see under the dnd section on my phone i am getting the app name as well dnd sync as you could see on my phone as well so you could also verify that the app is running in the back end so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching